When the bombs went off, we thought the end of the world was here. But it turns out it just screwed up our lives more than we ever thought imaginable. has resulted in mass casualties and officials searching for answers. The explosion left what can only be described as a giant crater hundreds of miles wide and deep. With one third of the continent completely destroyed, the rest of the world cowers in fear of what will become of the planet. We will stay vigilant, but cautious. We are asking all United States citizens to stay in their homes, in their communities, for their own safety. With a heavy heart, I must declare martial law across the entire United States of America until our safety is assured by experts on this matter. I've been trapped for four months. Not allowed to leave my campus, not allowed to see my family. Every day the news promised that we would be allowed to leave at any moment but it was broken promise after broken promise. The media tries to convince you that everything will go back to normal any day now. But we kept waiting. Kept waiting until it finally happened. Breaking news. The UN Department of Astronomy has declared martial law can be removed, beginning tomorrow at zero hour. Citizens of the world are encouraged to always wear their government-issued gravity adjustment belts. Although the risk of gravitational drift is highly unlikely, citizens are asked to respect the administration's point of no return. Crossing the 200-foot threshold at any time is not advised. Finally. Some genius scientists decided we should all wear gravity belts. National Guard knocked on my door one day with a scale and measuring tape, wrote down my height and weight, and left. Next day they came back with a belt with weight sewn into it, saying to wear it as a precaution, that it could save my life that I couldn't leave my house without it. It sounded like some fourth grade science project idea to me, but every night the media would remind me and every other human out there in TV land to trust the government. So I did. Like any other catastrophe, we overreacted. It's human nature. We're told that we lost part of our gravity. Tie down our cars. Did it make sense? Probably not. But in times like these, a false sense of security can be all that you need to get through the day. Back when everything was chaotic, people were slipping through the cracks. My brother Adam was one of them. He disappeared a week after the crater. Our parents did everything they could, went through the proper outlets of communication with the government, but it was useless. He had become a statistic but I knew he was out there, alone, scared, waiting for me to find him. Mom said he wanted to see what it was like outside, to see how everybody was handling it. He loved the confusion and wanted to see it on everyone's face. He knew about the law, that we couldn't leave, but he also knew that he was a teenager and he had to do what teenagers were meant to do, the opposite of what any authority figure told them. Mom called up his friends. They admitted that they met up with him that night, but they wouldn't say what happened. Only that he went here, to the park. Where are you, Adam? You're Isaac. You're his brother. You're one of Adam's friends? Yeah, Jared. Where is he? I keep hoping I'll see him here. I come back every day and I walk around looking for him. Where is he? We weren't robbing banks or anything. We just wanted to look around. Jared, where's Adam? He had this stupid idea. You know him with his anti-establishment outlook. You know, there's no such thing as point of no return. He just wanted to see for himself. 
Where? He rode it to the top. And when it stopped, he, he opened the door. We tried to stop him, but he, he wouldn't listen to us. We tried to stop him. He should have tried harder. You want to go for a ride? It's perfectly safe now. Now? Well, yeah, you know, after that stupid kid. That stupid kid was my brother. Look, I'm sorry about that. I mean, we didn't know anybody would do something like that. So it's true. He never came back down. Look, I'm really sorry. Were you there? Yeah, it happened on my shift. But everything's locked down now. There's no way that could ever happen again. Take me up. You sure? I want to see what he saw before. I don't know. Please. All right. On the house. OK. When the bombs went off, we thought the end of the world was here. But it turns out, it just screwed up our lives more than we ever thought imaginable. Nothing would ever be the same after that day. Friends were lost. The world became unrecognizable. People were changed forever. Families were destroyed. When everything seems lost, you have to find that one person who understands you. And go to them. No matter what it takes. Go to them. Isaac?